Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to perform an in-place upgrade from version 23H2 or 22H2 to Windows 11 version 24H2 on unsupported hardware. If you have a computer that doesn't meet the minimal requirements to install Windows 11, even less for version 24H2, you can use a special command when mounting the Windows 11 version 24H2 ISO to launch the setup and continue with the upgrade process. This should also work to upgrade to version 24H2 from Windows 10. It is recommended to create a full backup before proceeding in case you need to roll back. Okay, let's dive into steps to perform an in-place upgrade to version 24H2 on your unsupported PC. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, you will need to download the ISO file for Windows 11. Check the video description to find the tutorial on how to perform this task. However, basically you have to download the ISO file after version 24H2 has been released from the official website and the option will be this one right here and here you will select the ISO and then just follow the steps to download the file. Now if you're watching this video before the feature update has been released you have to use the Windows Insider program to download the latest preview and to do that you need to go to this website and then just scroll down and then you need to select the latest version of Windows 11 and the release preview channel. And then just click the confirm button and continue with the steps to download the ISO. But again, check the video description for the video with specific instructions that will have the latest information to download the latest version of Windows 11. Now, once you have the ISO downloaded on the computer, close all the running applications and then open File Explorer and locate the folder for that ISO file. In my case, I have it in, inside of the Downloads folder and I have the ISO right here. I'm going to right click on it and select the Mount option. After mounting the ISO file from the left, just open the drive and confirm the drive letter. In this case, the drive letter is E, as you can see right here and right here. So you can actually close this and then we're going to open the Windows terminal. To do that, open start and look for the terminal and right click on it and select the run as administrator option. I'm going to switch to command prompt and then we're going to open the drive that includes the installation files for version 24H2, which in my case is the E drive. And then press enter. We can do a dir command so we can see that we have all the installation files. From here, we're going to use the setup.exe command, and then we're going to use the product space server options, and then press enter. Now I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to click here. And I'm going to select the not right now option. Before we continue, I just wanted to show you that this particular computer is not supported. So I installed the uh, PC Health Check app, and then we're going to click the Check Now button. And as you can see, this computer doesn't meet the minimal requirements to install Windows 11. So now back into the Windows setup, we're going to click the Next button. And we bypass the requirements and now we need to accept the terms. And in here, select the Keep File Settings and App. That is to perform an in-place upgrade. You can also keep your files only or nothing. If you choose nothing, that will actually perform a clean installation of the operating system. However, in this case, we want to upgrade the system while keeping all your stuff, including file settings and apps. And then click the Next button. One thing I want to be transparent about is that the um, setup product server command in future releases of Windows 11 might not work. So for now on version 24H2, it's working as you can see right now, but that can change in the future. And the last step that we have to do is just to click the install button. Since you're performing a, an in-place upgrade, you won't have to go through the initial setup because all your files, apps, and settings will be transferred 
to the new installation. Once you're ready, just click the install button. Now the uh, setup is going to take over and your computer might restart a few times. Once everything is complete, the computer will start and you will have to sign in in the same way that you would if you are performing just a reboot to install an update of Windows. And finally, you just need to sign in to complete the installation. And now we are on version 24H2 on an unsupported hardware. We can check by opening start and looking for the winver command. And then as you can see, we're running version 24H2. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do an in-place upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2 on a computer that doesn't meet the minimal requirements. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.